Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Muslim Farmville. This is where you can find spirituality, sustainable, and slow living lifestyle. This morning we have <laughs> some quality time together. My husband and I are outside, and it is Ramadan. We have been tapping the last couple of weeks our maple trees and boiling it down and uh, had the fire going for a few days. So now it's time to rearrange. And I thought, oh, I'm working the inside as a homemaker and I wanted to come outside and get a fresh air. And of course, every time you come outside, there's always something to do, right? Having a small farm, the work never ends, but it's so rewarding. I have been working on catching up a little bit. Today, I am not going to be cooking iftar. So the days that I have a little extra time, then I do take it easy and I was able to put together a sahur time. Some dough, made some bagels, some burger buns, bread loaf, and let it sit there for quite some time. Sourdough teaches me to slow down and to be patient. Yes, because it takes time but it's delicious and you know what you are feeding your family so coming outside and just getting that fresh air in always does me good honestly and I have been sharing with you guys lately that making sourdough starters sourdough breads and working in the farm it's not only physically a work that keeps me going and feel good to move my muscles. It's also mentally. Those who are new here, welcome. I am Yasmin and I am originally from Somalia. As you all know, I'm a Muslim woman, a wife and mama of seven. And the little things that I like to focus on that I wanted to share today of being a Muslim wife and a mama, it's not only helping out around the farm, helping my husband or being this good homemaker, but also to practice my belief, which I honestly see it every day and I know it that as Muslim women, we are so, so blessed, so blessed. Little work that we do, it's not the only reward we get. You know, getting our one monthly cycle, pregnancy, breastfeeding, if we help our family, just those things accumulates for us and God is pleased with us and the rewards are more than you could ever imagine subhanallah so that's one thing keeps me going it's knowing that the rewards are waiting the hereafter because life is not about working here it's the hereafter especially watching my mouth because I can get feisty I can also be sweet, but when it comes to my family or close friends, I do have that little feeling of protecting them. So I'm teaching myself, I'm learning myself to control myself, not to jump up and just be attacking little things that don't matter, that does not concern me. I can only be responsible what comes out of my mouth and my actions. So it's such a discipline. So after I was helping my husband, I have been enjoying giving 
some meat to the dogs. They are family, as you can see. The white one well, is a mama to this little puppy who you think who looks like she's bigger than him. And the golden retriever is the daddy. So my joy is giving him little treats, little smile, little charity goes long ways. So this day is quiet day and feeding the dogs, the chickens brings me joy and keeps me out of trouble. My little farm keeps me out of trouble and I'm praying that I can focus and do what Allah wants me to do so I can get close to him. These little nuts and bars were getting a little bit older and the masjid was getting rid of it. So I said, I'll take it and give it to my chickens. Chickens eat everything. They will take care of everything for you. So I brought this. So since today I am not cooking iftar, I wanted to just go ahead and get these other chores done. My husband is trying to cut all the old trees and logs and put them into the fire pit. But farm work, you all, does not go as planned. There's always something breaking. All the time, there's something. And we are the kind of family who wants to put the time and not hire someone to fix every little thing for us? So sometimes you can fix things and you have to keep at it, ask the neighbors, get some help. We are not shy to ask for help. That way also our neighbors are able to help us and whatever we can share it with them if it's a piece of bread or honey or maple syrup or eggs then we also do so alhamdulillah so today it's going to be quiet peaceful around here just gathering some logs bacon breads and just chilling some days we need to slow down and breathe and not be rushing and doing everything because we cannot do everything so if you are Trying to slow down, prioritize your time, and today it's much easier. The days that I bake are the days that I don't have to uh, provide breakfast, lunch, dinner, or iftar if it's Ramadan for my family because I am not this superwoman. I tell myself, you can do it, but don't do it all at one time. Space yourself, Yasmin. Take it easy, Yasmin. I'm always telling myself and talking to myself, is this going to bring you joy? If it's not, leave it alone. That's the kind of talk that I give to myself. And sometimes I do come in short, but I can only keep going and work at it and be kind to myself. So this day I was able to have all these breads done and then I will go ahead and let them cool down and be able to put some in the fridge and some of them in the freezer and then we will use it as we go. The children somehow love bread. My husband and I are doing the best we can to do low carb, especially me for my health and eating this way, I was able to change a few things, and I'm quite grateful for that. The day that my doctor said to me, 10 years down the road, we don't want to have cardio arrest. I thought, what in the world? Do you took carbs? And changing it, my blood work has changed. So if you are a mama or not, get your blood work done when you can and know that there's always something to add on not only removing from our diets even though I don't eat bread all the time and I will eat once a while I still make it for my family and I have to watch out for myself so I do make my own bread that's low carb and I'm sure you guys have seen it 
But as the homemaker, I love making things for my family and friends. And I enjoy that, even if I can't have daily bread or ganarolas, but there are other things that I can add into my healthy eating that brings me a happier and healthier. So now my bread is done. I'm just going to go ahead and wipe everything. Because if I don't clean things now, then I'll be in trouble later. So this day I was able to, after helping my husband and making breads, I made a video for you guys, which you already saw about how to start sourdough starter. And here I am all cleaned up. Yes, I do get cleaned up from the farm and I was taking some pictures. And after that, I am just a regular person. You guys only see a few minutes of my life. So I was able to put my pajamas on in the evening and have a candle on and get my organizer and scheduling book and also put some Quran studies. I am really trying and working at it, writing it down. The prayers, the prayers I can always pray in Arabic, and now I quietly understand the English and the Somali well, so I'm writing it down, what I'm saying, what it means, and connecting with my career. So this is my slowing down video. I hope you benefit whatever you do. Make sure you make time to slow down because it does go a long ways for us. So I'm studying right now some of my Quran and taking the time for myself and it always does me well I hope you enjoyed it this video is quite short I know a lot of you like long videos but this is what I was able to do today and joining my community later and eating iftar with them and so it was a simple living a slow living life day today if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, give the videos thumbs up, and have a beautiful, blessed day. And I will see you guys next time, inshallah. It's a little gloomy day, but the sun comes on here and there. So I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, blesses each one of you what, you, what is good for you. I mean, and takes it away what's not good for you. And same for myself too. And my family, inshallah. I love the smell of candles. It brings me joy. It's a light smell. Alhamdulillah. I say salam to all of you. From my heart to yours. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.